Alright, we're a minute ahead of schedule, that's fine. Uh, hey everybody, welcome to the stream. I'm Adam, one of the engine user support techs over at Epic Games. This is my stream, not an official Epic stream, so be expecting a lot more cursing and ridiculousness. Uh, anyways, so, first things first, for TK421, he challenged me on Wednesday, I accepted his challenge, and I just want to point out, boom, right there, we are now on 4.9, okay? So, can't give me shit about being on 4.7, because we're on 4.9 now. Okay, anyways, so what we've been working on for the past few weeks has been a puzzle game that we've been putting together. I decided to put that on the back border, uh, burner today because I kind of wanted to get back to our D&D &D system that uh, we've been working on for actually quite some time. Um, I had a few ideas about it, and I don't have anything concrete yet that we're going to be doing today. We're just going to kind of play it by ear and go, and if someone has, like, suggestions or something like, you know, concrete, hey, I have this question, and we can fit it in, or if you just have a question, ask away, and I'll try to get to it and try to see what I can do. Um, one of the things I will note is uh, that I will be taking this template eventually and making it significantly more generic so that it's not uh, copyright infringement on uh, Wizards of the Coast D&D system. This is... Luckily, all the stuff I've done has been things that I can easily port over into other uh, systems. But what we've been doing so far has been uh, the D&D 5th Edition rulebook, which I've got right next to me, because I'm a nerd. And we've been kind of just going along and seeing what we could add into our system here. Okay. So, I believe we need to make an actual level up system. And I'm not entirely sure. Hey, well, you guys challenged me, and I don't back down from challenges nine times out of ten. Oh yeah, I forgot the, the level advancement for experience points is kind of weird. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I decided to go ahead and update. Did it last night while I was playing other games, which completely lagged out my system, got me killed a number of times. It was rather funny. Side note, League of Legends, not the easiest game to play when you have high ping. Okay, so... What system should we set up? I believe the first one we're going to do is a generic. Now, I'm not going to do the same EXP system they did right now. I want to do just a, uh, a basic, you know, 1,000 points is level 1, 2,000 points is level 2 kind of thing uh, for now. we th Those numbers can always be fudged. So, first things first, we need a structure. Let's call this level advancement. Oh, I guess before I do this, I should show people who are new to the stream kind of what we've done so far. Almost forgot that. I did make one change today uh, before the stream, and it's just a kind of quality of life thing. I noticed that when I was clicking around, the mouse was not uh, leaving when my menu screens would leave. So I just made a simple change here. Let's see, so I've got halfling, fighter, or whatever. So I got this. Hit finalize. Well, put some stat points in here, which this is the second portion, so the first thing is in fact, yeah, let's go through it. First thing got a race and class chooser okay, so you, it has all of the races and classes within the 5th edition D&D uh, rulebook. If you hit randomize it will randomly choose some for you now the race will actually affect your stats. Hey Katatis! Um, the class will actually affect uh, your hit point, or your starting hit die and your hit die modifier hit finalize so as you can see 
uh, the bonus stats are already implemented. Everything starts at eight, and we do a point by system. There we go. Boom. We can move around. We've got what will eventually uh, where the B is. That's where our character picture would be. Uh, we've got a damage thing here, which is just bees. Okay. Can hit C to bring up your character sheet. Oh, that's why. That's why I had the uh, thing on there. Anyways. We made turning very difficult. But that's not important. Okay. But we had all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. Got a spear. You can come over here and hit this thing. And it's just like hitting it with a normal weapon where it rolls a d20 and checks to see if you beat the armor class. I actually don't know if it's taking into account the uh, the base attack bonus and strength modifier. I would have to check that. All kinds of good stuff. Anyways, so... Let's see... Levels will be on the left side, and then this will be experience to level. Integer. Then we need, let's see. To next level. Uh, let's see, then we need a new variable. All of these are going to pretty much be integers. Base attack, which I believe is still in, in here. Let me double check. I've got a, a character sheet right back here. My druid. Oh, I think it's, yeah, just proficiency bonus now. And, oh, and actually, I don't know if I'm going to need this part. Hmm. So yeah, th this is one of the interesting parts because um, we've got nine different races, 13 classes, and each class is going to have its own proficiency bonuses, it's going to have its own uh, spells per day, its own extra stuff. So I actually think I'm going to need to... this This will be done instead of in a struct because that will be all be done in there. Okay. Going to... All of this should be done in the controller, but hey, whatever. Experience, prepare to experience needed. Then begin play. We're going to drag off of here, set experience to zero. Do I have a level? Yep. So I don't need to set, or yeah, I do, just in case. Set level to one. Pile, save, okay. Uh, let's see, we need a custom event. No, not custom up not update custom movement. Custom event. This is going to be gain XP. Going to give an input of integer XP.
Let's see. I want to set experience. And then we immediately want to do a branch. experience needed. Set experience needed. And we're going to start this with 1000. Okay. Our, <laughs> our begin play just keeps getting longer and longer and longer. Okay. So let's move this. That is greater than or equal to. Dr. Dunn, how you doing? Uh, this is our D&D &D RPG system that I've put together. <laughs> it's a little chaotic right now. Right now we're just working on the experience system, uh, setting up a basic you know, level up system. So it starts off experience, uh, that's the get XP. Let's see, experience, experience needed, branch, true, Set level. To level plus Uh, this is a how much work involved up to this part.